God bless you, this is Pastor Roger. Let me tell you, sometimes it's so difficult to impress people. It's so hard sometimes to say, well, what can I do to impress this person? What can I do to impress that person? And we come to the final conclusion that at times it's just impossible to please people. It's very difficult to impress people, especially losing your identity in the process not knowing who you are because you're trying to be what everyone wants you to be. Let me tell you something. Know this, that God has made you and he loves you. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. There's nothing wrong with you. You've got to understand that Jesus has a plan for your life. You need to embrace his plan for your life. The Bible says in John 3:16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. You are special. You are fearfully and wonderfully made according to the word of God. Psalms 139 verse 14. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. Isn't that a wonderful thing? To know that God has fearfully made you just the way you are. And he has a plan for your life and he loves you just the way you are. All you have to do is simply embrace his love. Sometimes uh, we can receive love, but do we embrace the love? Understand, if there's anyone who loves you more, it is God. God loves you and he has a plan for your life. Embrace his love today. Embrace his loving kindness. Embrace his faithfulness. You may say, well, I don't feel his love right now. And that's fine. Sometimes we just can't feel his love, but know his love is there. Mere fact, mere fact that you're breathing, you're inhaling and exhaling. Isn't that a wonderful thing to know that I am alive? This is proof that God loves me. The amount of things that has happened in my life, the amount of things that, have, that has happened in your life. And sometimes you wonder how in the world am I still here? How did I get this far? But let me tell you something. You got this far because of the grace of God. You're here because God has a plan for your life. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. I want to say that again. I want you to, matter of fact, I want you to say it. Say this, repeat after me. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Say this, God has a plan for my life. Say it, God has a plan for my life. I don't care what it looks like. You may be frustrated, you may be irritated. Understand that all things are going to work out for your good. It's going to work out. Don't worry. Life, <laughs> look, it's not always raining all the time. It's not always cloudy all the time. The sunshine is going to come out eventually. <laughs> know that. Amen. The sun is going to come out. It's going to shine in your dark situation. And let me tell you something. God is going to turn your situation around completely. No, he loves you. He has a plan for your life. Stop believing those thoughts in your mind. Stop believing what people say about you. Stop believing it. Believe what God says. Believe that you are fearfully and wonderfully made and that God has a plan for your life. God has a plan for my life. Say it. God has a plan for my life. It may not look like a good plan right now, but it's all going to work out. For the good you know when when grandma is cooking that cake uh she puts the eggs in she puts the yeast in uh, how many of you have ever tasted yeast or even smelled yeast yeast is a funny smelling uh ingredient the flour by itself tree have you ever tried flour by itself it doesn't taste good it's really nasty to be truthful uh you ever tried these separate ingredients by itself by itself, it's real nasty. See, but when you put it all together, when you put the flour together, the cinnamon, the nutmeg, or whatever you, you, you whatever, whatever type of baking you're doing, and you put it all together, it comes out wonderful. It comes out into a beautiful cake and ever, where everyone can enjoy it. Let me tell you something. God has a plan for you. Don't give up. Don't give up. Don't quit. Don't throw in the towel. God loves you. John 3, 16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, 
but have everlasting life. For God sent not his son to condemn the world or condemn you and I, but that the world, we, might be saved through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. God bless you.